Hi y'all, it's Farmer Diana with Green Art Planet and I'm out here at Elaine Wynn Elementary School and I wanted to teach you a little bit about okra and how to save its seeds. So this right here is an okra plant. I mean, these are okra plants and okra is a fruit. So even though we treat it as a vegetable when we cook it in our Southern cuisine, in our Middle Eastern and um, Indian cuisine, it is technically a fruit. So how it develops is it makes this flower and it waits for the bees and butterflies and other pollinators to come by. And then the flower will close up like right here with this burgundy okra. And then you will get a tiny okra like this. And when it comes to eating okra, you don't want it to get too big. So the way you can tell if okra is good to eat is you can move its tip. So if you can move its tip, it's good. When it gets too big like these do, you can't move the tip at all. That means this is very fibrous. You'll just keep chewing and chewing and chewing and it won't taste very good. But good news, if you let it get this big, you just have to wait a little bit longer and then it'll dry out. Can we hear this? There are seeds in here ready to be saved. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your pruners or really sharp scissors and you wanna cut at the base here. And once you do that, you have your dried pod and then you can crack it open and you have your seeds. And so you can save these seeds for next season. So you wanna plant okra in April to May, around um, springtime. And why do we save our seeds? Well, we teach our kids that they need a savings account, right? They need to put money away to invest in their future. Well, that's exactly what we're doing by saving seeds. You're investing in next season's crops, you're saving money, and you're ensuring that your garden is always gonna look beautiful and have great oak growth. Well, that's all I had to show you today. Until next time, bye.